Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. Now, this week's topic is what bouquet of flowers would best describe your favourite summer read? I have a string of answers to this one with a certain amount of intersection. Firstly, uh, I don't have a favourite summer read. I don't read by the seasons. Potentially, I might read more outside in summer because it's pleasant weather, but that would coincide with an exact reduction in me reading less inside. So, barring disliking a book that can't be read in sunlight, I don't have a seasonal favourite read. Um, describing the books I read during summer with a bouquet of flowers. Well, something that changed composition fairly rapidly and refreshed itself on a regular basis because I read a lot of different things and I read quickly. So the book I'm reading today could well not be the book I'm reading in two days time or anything like the book I'm reading in two days time. So I'd want a bouquet that was roses one day and lilies the next and refreshed itself on a regular basis so it didn't get stale because I don't tend to find books going stale. Um, another quality, uh, it would have to be cat friendly, both because I have cats so I wouldn't want to poison them and because one of the things that Una most loves in the world is corners and books, whether ebook, readers or hard copy, have corners. So it would be a bouquet that was pleasant to cats. But fundamentally, I'm not a bouquet person. I like plants, but I don't like cut flowers. I don't dislike them per se, but cut flowers die, which uncut flowers tend not to, or tend not to for a much longer time. So I don't know if I'd have a bouquet of flowers so much as a planter of flowers, which to avoid the cats scrobbling, I'd have in the garden. So a bouquet of flowers that would best describe my favorite summer read would probably be a garden somewhere that I could sit in to read that was within easy wandering distance of a kitchen for making drinks and wasn't too blazingly sunny so I didn't bake or suffer page flare. So, relatively simple answer this week. Toodaloo!